Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with a new video. But before I get into my video and what I want to talk about, there's one thing that is super important that's very near and dear to my heart and to the Buffalo Fanatics. And that's the members. We are officially at 5,000 subs, 5,000 people that show us love 5,000 people across the globe from Canada to, you know what I mean, the Middle East, you know what I mean, South America, you name it. Uh, Y'all are showing love, and this is our way to say thank you. Uh, we are at 5,000 subs. We started this thing a little over a year ago, October of last year, and we have reached 5,000. The goal is to hit 10,000 subs, 10,000 fanatics, and we'll get there with a little hard grinding, with a little bit of hard work, and you know what I mean, and some and some time put in. But near and dear to our heart, we want to say thank you. Keep grinding with us. Keep growing this. We want to make this the biggest, the best, the baddest Bills page on the tube, on the YouTube. So shout out to YouTube for giving this big ass platform for people like us to talk Bills football. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh -huh. Let's get to it. Five defensive players in free agency that could typically help the Bills become potentially the number one defense in the league instead of just, you know, the top 10 defense. I think we have the management. I think we have the team to put something together to bring us a defensive unit that can not only stop you in the run, but stop you in the air. We gave you a taste this past year but we always can get better and with these five players i think i think we can do just that so without further ado let me just jump into this video and give you the five baddest free agency players that i think can really bolster this team number five cornerback Pierre Desir. If you don't know my Haitian sac passe, say I see him yeah, and that's how we roll. Listen, my man Pierre Desir started his career in Cleveland. Didn't work so well. It looks like they wanted a little bit of speed uh, when he got drafted. He's he's known for length, he's known for zone coverage, and it just didn't work out. He made his way around the league, had a pit stop in Seattle. They'd be wise to bring him back, but I think he'd be a perfect fit for McDermott and Frazier's defense. Now here's the deal. If you guys are not familiar with who Pierre Desir is, go look back at the Colts game. You know, DeAndre Hawkins, you know, one of the baddest receivers in this game, if not one of the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was left, what, with three to four receptions? Yeah, you know who was covering the man? Your boy Pierre Desir locked him down. Now, he's had his ups and downs in his career, but he may have found his niche. He knows what exactly he needs to do. Why not bring the talents to Buffalo? I've been following this guy, you know what I mean, since Lindenwood. So, bring your boy to Buffalo. Length 6'1", good length, can cover in the zone. I think he'd be a perfect fit with our defense. We could always add cornerback help. Why not bring another one that's got the length, that's got the ability to cover some big-time receivers? Pair him with Trey White, a little bit of Levi Wallace, Teron Johnson, Saran Neal, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poirier, way, listen man, but listen man, we might have something in Pierre Desir, so that's number five, Pierre Desir, cornerback, let's go, number four, Denzel Perriman, if you guys don't know who Denzel Perriman is, listen man, that's like mini Mike Tyson, that boy is a mini pit bull, you let him punch you in the mouth, smack you in the mouth, you may not get up, from the U. You guys know who that is, that boy Denzel Perriman, 5'10", 236 pounds, and will hit you in the mouth. He's instinctive, the boy hits hard. So when's the last time we had a linebacker that could smack the hell out of you? What, Nigel Bradham? So if you bring in a guy like Denzel Perriman, pair him up with Lorenzo Alexander, Tremaine Edmonds, Matt Milano, we might have a little nasty to our linebacking core. So number four, Denzel Perriman only 25 years of age now don't ask him to cover he's not your typical cover man so you put him in first and second down you know what i'm saying let him lay lumber and then we bring the coverage team to shut everything down and get off the field so perriman could be a viable asset to this bill's defense number three pass rush brandon graham 
Eagles. Now here's the deal. He's not the guy that's going to give you the gaudy numbers of having 16 sacks, 10 sacks. He's not that guy. But what he does do is get after the quarterback, put pressure, disrupt the backfield. We bring in some talent like that onto this team and add to Jerry Hughes' 55 pressures last year. I think we have something in a Brandon Graham. Now, is he going to break bank? Is he going to ask for a lot of money? Is he going to be coveting a lot of money? Numbers is usually what gets these guys paid. He didn't have those big, huge sack numbers, but he does get after the quarterback. And what we need is guys that can move quarterbacks off the spot and disrupt everything. So add that with little Jerry Hughes, you know what I'm saying? With the little star Latulale, with, with Mr. Phillips, we might have something in that. We might have something in that. Brandon Graham, listen. The knock is going to be that he lacks finish. He doesn't have all those huge numbers, but you don't necessarily need to get the sacks to be effective. We all know that. So you bring in a guy like that in Brandon Graham with 80 combined sacks, pressures, and QB hits three times in the top 10 in terms of that category. Listen, I'll take that all day. He just brought in a Sam Darnold in the AFC East. We don't know what the Dolphins are going to do at quarterback. And then you got Tom Brady. So in order to get to the quarterback, you got to you got to dominate the trenches. That's exactly what I think by bringing in a guy like Brandon Graham. Number two, this is an underrated pickup, but what pickup that makes a lot of sense. Linebacker Thomas Davis. If you guys don't know who Thomas Davis is, wake the hell up. Listen, this is simple. Familiarity with the coach, familiarity with our GM, familiarity with the scheme. You can't go wrong with bringing him back with McDermott. And not only that. The best, one of the best linebackers in the league right now in Luke Kuechly was mentored by Thomas Davis. Thomas Davis still has juice left. So why not bring that talent and mold Tremaine Edmonds, mold Matt Milano. You bring in that man of the year type player to this Buffalo defense, not only will he contribute, He's going to make these he's going to make these guys learn how to watch film. He's going to make them learn how to practice. He's going to make these boys become men. You bring in a Thomas Davis to Buffalo? Hey, watch out. He's seen a lot of football. He's seen a lot in this league. He's played in big games. You can't go wrong with bringing in a guy like that. You pair him with Lorenzo Alexander and having the loss of Kyle Williams? This is the move. Number 2, Thomas Davis. Last but not least, one of my favorites, one of the guys I've been watching for quite some time now, especially this year, Trey Flowers, defensive end from the New England Patriots. But right now, we have the ability to lure Trey Flowers over to this defense, and I think he would be ideal. Now, Shaq Lawson is on our team. We don't know what Shaq Lawson brings. He came up hard. He came up big, big time when it came to the end of the season, near the end of the season. And you know what? I was skeptical. I wasn't sure I wanted to have Shaq Lawson back on the squad, but he showed us tremendous ability near the end of the season. Now, is he just doing that because he was in a contract year? I don't know, but a guy like Trey Flowers, disciplined, does everything correct, and he's multiple. He can play inside, he can play outside, he gets after the quarterback. A lot of 20 pressures alone in 2018. A guy like Trey Flowers, could really bolster this defense what we really need is a pass rush we need a guy that can get after the quarterback stop the run set the edge and i think trey flowers would be an ideal addition to this buffalo defense so let me recap five players that could really bring this defense to another level cornerback pierre desir linebacker denzel perriman defensive end brandon graham linebacker thomas davis and defensive end specialist in Trey Flowers. You guys let me know how you guys feel about those five guys. Are there any other free agent pickups that you think would be ideal for this defense? Now, I'm not going for those big high name guys. I wanted to go after guys that are known, but never really panned out to be superstars on their teams, but would be ideal fits for this defense. I don't know. I kind of like my guys. You might disagree. If you guys are new to this page, y'all know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe to this page, and let's grow this bitch to 10K by the first game of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy. Continue to show support, and we'll continue to put the grind through. And until next time, I'm gone.